Hey guys, it's your girl Shalane. I'm back today with a pandemic EBT video. In today's video, we're going to discuss the emergency allotment approved from. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Hey guys, it's your girl Shalay and I'm back today with a pandemic EBT video. In today's video, we're going to discuss the emergency allotment benefits approved for the month of October. Okay, go. come on USDA, I see you. And guys, for you that are wondering, the emergency allotment is just the maximum amount of food stamps for the month of October and which states have approved. Then we also are going to talk about the SNAP increase for October as well, and then disaster benefits for some new areas for Hurricane Sally, pandemic EBT, and more. So if you wanna know what is going on in the lovely world of EBT, my darling, you already know what to do. Stay tuned, your girl's got you covered. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, hi, hello, hey friend. My name is Shalay, and here on this channel, we talk about shopping, saving, and everything in between. I would love to have you a part of my internet family. It's super easy. Click that big old red subscribe button down below and you're in just like that. And while you're at it, go ahead and give me a like because you love me bringing this content to you, and I enjoy doing it as well. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Snap benefits increase Slightly, just just a little, you know, just a little nibble due to the federal cost of living adjustment. So the U.S. Department of Agriculture new cost of living adjustments for the SNAP program went into effect on October 1st, which will mean an increase in the in your benefits for most families. Now, some people already have stated that they received their increase and it's five or $10. You can actually look at your state and it should have on the um, DHR website on there what the increase is going to be. But each year, the USDA adjusts the SNAP monthly allotment based on certain food costs, including the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics Consumer Price Index. I don't know what they get with that price index because I don't know about y'all, but is it meat or it seems like the food cost, like for a pack of chicken or hamburger, I mean, it's like $10, 16 I think that's a little bit more than 5% that we need, but you know, who am I? Increases in SNAP's maximum monthly food allotments would be for the fiscal year 2020 through 2021, very depending on the number of people in your household. So definitely just check out the website and see exactly how much you're going to get or some of you probably already recognize it on your card. Now moving along, emergency SNAP benefits have been extended for one state and that is the Lone Star State, the state of Texas. Now look here, Texas went on and on pandemic EBT, honey but they jumped on it for the emergency allotment. So nearly 200 million in emergency supplemental nutrition assistance program funds for Texas residents will be provided for October due to the pandemic. Governor Greg Abbott announced the extension of the benefits in response to the ongoing pandemic. The funds will be provided by the Texas Health and Human Services Commission on there. And so it should provide assistance to about 1.5 million low income families in Texas. The emergency funds provide eligible families an additional amount on their Lone Star cards. Now, I'm hoping that in the days to come, more states will start to add on with that, um, as well as with the pandemic EBT. But speaking of pandemic EBT, it's the same 17 states. But if this is your first time tuning in, I'm gonna let you know. I mean, you can go watch another video, but. You know, alrighty, just saying. But the 17 states are doing pandemic EBT is California, District of Columbia, Hawaii, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Maryland, Massachusetts, Montana, Nebraska, New Jersey, New Mexico, North Carolina, Ohio, Rhode Island, Tennessee, and Virginia. Those have all been approved for pandemic EBT. I've been checking the website like a hawk, like I'm looking. I'm scrolling, I'm looking, and no new states have been added. So I don't know, get on your people. Like, tell your people in your state, can, can we apply for pandemic EBT or no? Like, what's going on? Alrighty, the USDA announces approval of disaster SNAP benefits for Alabama dis disaster areas. So the U.S. Secretary of Agriculture, Sonny Perdue, announced that low-income Alabama residents recovering from Hurricane Sally could be eligible for, from, for a helping hand from the U.S. Department of Agriculture Disaster SNAP program. Now, households who may not normally be eligible for your regular SNAP program, you may qualify for disaster SNAP benefits. And it works the same way. If you're already receiving SNAP benefits, 
Girl, you can't double up. Don't even try it. You cannot get disaster EBT or disaster food stamps if you already are receiving SNAP benefits. So to be eligible for the disaster SNAP, a household must live in one of the counties affected or designated by the president for the federal individual assistance as well. So at that time, you can go onto the website and it does show which counties have been affected. And then at that point, it will tell you what you need to do and you can fill out the application for the disaster SNAP benefits at that point. Uh, right here, and it will stay, I think for our state in Alabama, um, on there it does have the dates and the locations through the local media as well where you can apply. So go ahead and check it out on there <clears throat> as well. Now, Alabama is not the only one who is offering the disaster SNAP benefits. SNAP recipients impacted by Hurricane Sally are going to get additional help under the direction of Governor Ron DeSantis. Now, he stated that mass replacements will be issued for SNAP recipients, so in Florida, okay? In Florida, they are doing that if you are a SNAP recipient and you live in Escambia, Escambia? Escambia in Santa Rosa County, due to the significant loss of the power associated with the storm, they're going to allow you 50% of each household's food assistant benefits received between September 1st and September 15th to automatically be replaced. Now, look here. Listen, listen, Linda. Listen, listen, listen. That is only for Florida. If you're in Alabama and you receive SNAP, you don't qualify for disaster. But if you're in Florida and you receive SNAP because of the power outage from Hurricane Sally, you will qualify to get 50% of your household food assistant benefits replaced. Now, also, they will automatically be replaced. The benefits will be issued between sometime the 16th through the 28th. At that point, you do not need to submit any requests for it to be done, it will automatically be done. Now they have also, also extended like a 10 day time frame for current SNAP recipients in the following counties as well, which is like Bay, Calhoun, Escambia, Franklin, Gulf, Gaston, Holmes, Jackson, Liberty, Okaloosa, Okaloosa, Santa Rosa, Watson, and Washington to request replacement funds for food items lost during the storm as well. So, and that will go through October 6th. So make sure that if you're in one of those areas, you can apply to have your SNAP or disaster SNAP benefits replaced as well. So I know someone had asked that question, maybe, I don't know, like a few weeks ago, they had asked, would Florida be participating? But yes, Florida is participating. Now, Walmart accepts SNAP benefits online and offers grocery store delivery and pickup. Now, I know you're like, girl, they've been doing that, but not in Hawaii, okay? Not in Hawaii, not in my aloha, okay? Aloha, Hawaii. Hawaii residents receiving federal food assistance can order their groceries online and have them delivered. SNAP recipients can purchase groceries online through the EBT card from Walmart. Only SNAP eligible food items can be purchased. It's the same food SNAP recipients would normally purchase in store. You can purchase the groceries on your EBT card and have them delivered, but you cannot use your SNAP benefits to pay the $20 delivery fee. So congratulations, Hawaii. But remember, also in Hawaii, they are giving out $500 restaurant cards to unemployed residents. So, and that will be valid through December 15th. So if you are an unemployed resident living in Hawaii, you will be encouraged to dine out at, under the Aloha's new, newest economic plan. And at that point, those receiving unemployment benefits since March 25th as a result of the pandemic will get a Hawaii restaurant card. Just sounds cool. Okay, but it'll come in the mail and you will have $500 to spend at any restaurant in the state. The meal card works like a debit card. Eaters will pay their restaurant of choice and you can actually leave a tip. The bill will be deducted from the card's total amount and the money will go to the restaurant. So this new program is aimed at keeping local eateries in business and is using 75 million of the CARES Act money. Now, teachers and educators are showing their support for food assistance in Nebraska, and they are also stating their frustrations in front of the city council. They did this this past Monday. Having been a teacher where my students have come to school hungry, it is the most unnecessary, heartbreaking thing to see on a daily basis. Under the extended aid, families on food stamps will get an additional $240 a month for the pandemic EBT. Nebraska families are getting 11 
and it's so catastrophic. Educators told the councils that students and families are struggling more than ever during the pandemic, and they are, encu they are encouraging government officials to actually take action. Now, this is all I have to do if you're like, girl, what you're talking about? This has to do because the Nebraska governor has refused to apply for the emergency assistant benefits for food stamps. He said, no, the people have urged him. They talked to him so they were blue in the face. And he said, no, he was not going to do it. And so at this point, a lot of people were upset by that and they offered the pandemic EBT. And so now teachers are actually voicing their frustrations as well to the city council meeting like, hey, we should do something. If nothing else, try to get it retroactivated. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. And last but not least, Mayor Gardens introduces reduced emissions for families that are on food stamp assistance. So in Grand Rapids, Michigan, with the coming of October, or we're in October now, child, Mayor Gardens had, and the Sculpture Park will offer a reduced emission of $2 per person for families receiving SNAP and WIC food assistance. Up to four people will be allowed at the lower price ticket with the presentation of EBT or a WIC card. The new program comes with Mayor Garns becoming a member of the Museums for All. And that's an initiative to increase the access to museums to people of all backgrounds and the effort includes more than 500 institutions. So that's what we have that's going on in the lovely world of EBT. A lot going on. Hopefully we can have some more states that come across and decide to go ahead and be a part of the emergency allotment for October, as well as more states need to join the pandemic EBT. But I guess it's up to your people to apply. You know, you have to get your human services department to apply for it, but it is out there. Let me know what do you think down below. As always, please like, comment, subscribe, and I will talk to you later. Bye guys.